What's up and welcome back to the channel. After I get the shop cleaned up and the floor swept, we're gonna get back on this GTR. <laughs> Yeah, listen, uh, we f***ed up. You did what? Things got out of control and, uh, Ooh. um, yeah, I've got some room. Go ahead and bring it. Um, get it here as fast as you can. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, so we've got the car at the shop. This is a 2019 MX-5, and I don't know if you can tell, but by the color orange means it's an anniversary edition. This is actually a 30th anniversary edition, which makes the car kind of rare. Something a little bit different about this car as well is it has insurance on it. This is a track day car, so he does drive it on the street and on the track, and Haggerty offers what they call track insurance. Now, basically, it is an agreed amount insurance through Haggerty. They, you set what the car is worth, they agree to that amount, and then they set a premium that is, covers you for the allotted time that you're at the track and on the track, and only on the track. So if you drive the car home and crash, they're not going to cover it. But since he was on the track when he flipped the car over, the track insurance will cover the repairs. Since this car does have track insurance on it, and they're going to be covering it, they've already written an estimate on the car, but when the insurance companies write the initial estimate, they only write what they can see. So they don't take any of the panels off the car, they just write the basic stuff that they can see and can justify in a photograph. So we need to get this thing up on the clamps so I can get some measurements and we need to get the front end and all the panels that we can get taken off, taken off the car so we can find any hidden damage that they may not have seen on the initial estimate. All right, so the first thing we've got to take off this car are these rocker covers. Now the other one was ripped off during the accident, but this one's still on the car so we have to get it off. Now we'll take it off so that we can get this thing set up on clamps so we can get our measurements. Oh, so come check this out. This is what I'm talking about when I say hidden damage. Now there's no way he saw all of this damage in the condenser and in the radiator with the front bumper cover on there. But since we pulled the front bumper cover off, now you can see all of that damage.
I don't see any splits that would make me say he has to get a new headlight. Like if the housing is cracked, moisture will get in there and the light will keep blowing because the light gets hot and then moisture gets on it and blows. But I think they wrote it for this headlight, but if he wants to try to save it, we can take it off the estimate, which will help in the respect of keeping the cost down so that it won't total. I don't think they wrote it for a core support and it is bent right here. So probably going to need a core support, upper radiator support. Let's keep going. There's a clip in there. I gotta get the clips out of this black piece to get this black piece off so I can get to that bolt that's underneath the black piece. See how smashed this is. Couldn't see that with the fender on, so all this will have to be addressed with the supplement as well. Kobe! All right, so we've got most of everything off the car that we need off. There's still a few things I need to get taken off, but for now, we have enough stuff off so that we can get measured. So let's climb under this thing and start getting some measurements. We've got this thing all taken apart, got everything measured out, so we've got a good grasp on what we need to get done to the car above and beyond what the initial estimate was. So let's go start writing up the supplement. I finished the supplement on this MX-5 and I've spoken with the customer telling him everything that we found. I've also sent a copy of this to the insurance adjuster along with photographs of all the hidden damage. Now we're kind of in a holding pattern now because we're waiting on the insurance company to get back to us to let us know if they want to repair the car or if it's going to be a total loss. Now a lot of people have asked me what indicates a car to be a total loss. Basically it's dollars and cents, it's money. If the car can be repaired for less money than it can be replaced for, they'll repair it. But if it's less expensive to replace versus repair, they'll replace the car, which makes it a total loss. Now, just because they made it a total loss doesn't mean this car isn't repairable. Um, everything is repairable to a point. It is basically, like I said, all about the money. the money. So while we're waiting on the insurance company to get back to us, 
We're gonna get this thing back on its wheels and get it off the frame machine because I have a race car that's ready to go up. With the price of gas being as high as it is these days, it's probably cheaper to buy cocaine and just run wherever you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon. That way you won't miss any future content. These race cars are really keeping me very busy at the shop, so it's tough for me to find time to get some work done on the GTR and even get some editing done on it. I apologize for not getting any content on the GTR out because I know you guys want to see that. And trust me, I want to get this car done just as bad as you guys want to see it done. And with that being said, I'm going to try to get some more GTR content together for you guys once I get some of these race cars finished. So stick around for that. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video. See ya!